In today's video, we're going to go over the turning on of your foot all. Assuming that you have your machine off, of course it's off because you're trying to turn it on. You got the e-stop push, everything is off. If you move on to the back, there's some pre-checks you want to do or things you want to set up before you turn it on. Um, one of those is you want to make sure that you got, you can see here I got my air hooked up. You want your air hooked up and you want your PSI to be at least, up here it says 80. Um, you got this other regulator here, you, you can adjust. But you can see right here, we're sitting at just below 80. Um, I actually turned my compressor off for the video, that guy, but it's normally above 80 or right at 80. So you wanna check that you have air and that you got the right PSI. You wanna check your oil. And depending on the machine model, you may not have your oil right here. This is for my axes. And you can see, I don't know if you can see the line, but we're, we're riding probably maybe three quarters full. And then you also wanna make sure you got plenty of coolant in here, assuming that you're running coolant or that you have a coolant tank. Um, you can of course look in there. Uh, I actually need to change my coolant out. Um, so forgive me for my dirty coolant. So assuming you have those three things set up, they're good. Um, and then you also, if you're in a small shop like me and you have a converter for three phase, you first of course want to turn this on. And then you want to go over to the machine. You want to turn your knife switch on. And then you got the power button up here. You want to push in and hold this. And when you do, you're going to hear a click in the cabinet. That's gonna be the contactor, and then after you do that, we're, then we can move up front. So we're gonna push. You can hear that, that snap. That was the contactor. So now if we move over to the front of the machine, you can see that the control's on. Lights on, everything looks good. So with the Fidal controls, or the, the machine itself, before you run, like normally in a, in a brand new machine, state of the art, you don't have to do anything. It, it already knows where it's at. It's got absolute encoders. But for the Fidal machine, you gotta tell it where to go. Or you gotta say, hey, we're close to home, go find home. Um, so first you wanna undo the e-stop. And then if you're at this page, you could push the start button. And you'll see over here that once I do, I'm gonna push it. The axes are going to move. That's called the cold start position. They move slightly. I don't know if you guys saw it on camera. And if you go back over here, okay, it says we're 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 good to go, essentially. But if you weren't at that page, you could go push the manual button a few times. Go to the enter next command. Before you type in this command, you want to go over to the machine. On each of the three axes, you got the X, you got the Y, and you got the Z. On each of them, you have these little plates on the bottom that you can see the hatch mark here and here. You want to make sure these are within 50 thou aligned. Um, actually, I'll try and bring the camera in so you guys can see it. You want to make sure that these points or these lines are approximately or within 50 thou of each other. You got one there, that's for the x-axis. You got this plate down there for the y. You wanna make sure that this right here is approximately in line with that. And then over here on the z-axis, or right there, you wanna make sure that's within 50 thou. So, oh, and also to do that, just make sure you go over to the jog mode and then you can adjust whatever axis steps and then use the MPG and you can jog that around to go up, down, left, right, whatever to get those aligned. And so once you're aligned, you go over here, push the manual button, type in CS, that's for cold start. So that this, is, this is how it's gonna find home and know, okay, I'm, I'm where I need to be. You push the enter button 
And you can see the machine's going to move up and down, left and right, forward and back. And you go back to the screen. It went back to that, that, you know, you're all good screen. So now you're ready to run a program. So I know it's a pretty quick video, but uh, hopefully this, this helps shed some light on beginners for Fidel machines and how to turn them on. If you guys like this video, please give it a like. If, if you think it deserved it, please subscribe to this channel if you like this kind of content. And with that, guys, I'll be making some more uh, getting started videos. If you have any questions, leave them down below. Or you know, if, if I missed anything, if you guys any, have, have any comments, you know, again, leave them down below, and I'll respond to every single one of them. So with that, hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys learned something. I'll see you guys in the next one.